Father Beal, uh, as Susan pointed out, this this Vos Essis didn't sort of fall out of the blue. Um, it fits into existing law, builds on uh, existing law, but also on on some of the the ways that the church has handled allegations against bishops or or as uh, apostolic visitations in the past. Tell us a little bit about how uh, what is what is new and what is not new about Vos Essis. How does it fit into the existing law, and where did this document come from? Uh, I was not involved in the drafting of it, and I have no particular insights into the genesis of the document. Uh, I think it's fair to say that it was in process in some stage well before the horrible summer of 2018. Uh, there were several principles that are theological, canonical, that the drafters had to deal with. First is that it has been a settled principle in canon law since the Gregorian reform of the 11th century that only the Roman pontiff, the Pope, can discipline a bishop. Uh, second, uh, since that time, uh, one of the instruments by which the Roman pontiff has exercised his oversight has been the institute of what is sometimes referred to as an apostolic visitation. Uh, those have been going on in a variety of forms. And third, uh, in both the codes of the canon law, 1917 and 1983, it is foreseen that the metropolitan, the chief bishop of an ecclesiastical province, might conduct such an investigation at the behest of the Roman pontiff. Uh, so those are principles they had to work with. Um, as the sexual abuse crisis unfolded, there were a variety of trial and error efforts to deal with cases as they arose. Uh, in St. Paul in Minneapolis, there was the case of Archbishop Neustadt. Uh, in Los Angeles, Archbishop Gomez had the awkward situation of dealing with his predecessor, who was at least accused of being negligent in handling cases as they arose. So there was sort of a trial and error going on that seemed to slowly evolve toward the present method that came out in those estes. If you want to see the trial run, uh, look at the history of the investigation of Bishop Bransfield in Wheeling, Charleston, West Virginia, by the Archbishop of that province, um, Bishop Loring. Uh, it looks like Vos Estes before its time. But these are the you know, three principles, and this is how it has e emerged somewhat with trial and error, trying to fill the gap for providing an adequate method for dealing with bishops who themselves are uh, victim, uh, committed uh, offenses or who were negligent. 